All right, so, uh, next step of our repose project is to actually add some paint or ink right on top of the metal. And the goal is that the black is going to stick in to all of our concave or pushed in areas. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dip our brush and we're kind of just painting that paint or ink, just a light layer over top of your whole project. And it doesn't really matter if it's perfectly um, applied because what we're gonna actually do is we're actually going to be rubbing um, the extra paint off. So once you've got a layer of black, you're actually gonna take a paper towel and this is gonna get messy, you might get paint on your hands, but we are going to rub the black paint all over our project. And the goal is that the black is going to stick in to all of those areas that we have pushed in or created those caved in areas. And there might be some areas where you need to add a little bit more of the black paint. You can see that my caved in areas over here didn't get touched very well with the paint. So all of the areas that we have pushed in to make them concave are going to absorb that black paint. And it's going to kind of give us a little bit of an antique or a vintage look. Any spots that you notice that may have been missed, you can just hit them one more time with your black paint before rubbing the extra off. Once you have finished removing the paint from your metal, you're gonna be able to set this aside while it dries. Um, our final step is to actually create a background. Um, you can choose any color of construction paper, and this is going to be mounted, which means I'm going to hot glue this for you. Uh, we'll have a little station set up that we can hot glue, and this is going to be your background area. Now, you can do any type of patterns or designs on your background area. Um, construction paper crayons show up really well on black paper. Um, you can do any type of a pattern. I mean, you can just trace the edge of your border over and over. You could take some of your patterns that you put in your project and put them on here. Um, but you're basically creating a background for your project. When your background is finished, we will hot glue your repousse um, onto the background. And I always suggest that you write your name on the front of your artwork. That way when it's displayed, people can see.